What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It's uh, Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody, and you know what that means. That means 5 o'clock today, Eastern, we'll be doing our regular live stream here on Sundays. Um, we'll be talking about the first week, which is now in the books for the Dallas Cowboys uh, for training camp. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that we have actually football to talk about. And um, I can't believe that tomorrow, I can't believe it, Tomorrow that I will be hopping on an airplane and headed out to California to cover the Dallas Cowboys and see some of you great fans, see uh, some of my brothers in arms like Law Nation and hopefully Vosh and um, Skywalker Steel and West Coast and things um, out at camp. Wednesday is the team scrimmage. Um, that's going to be a big day. Tomorrow will be the first day in pads. Um, we won't actually get to California until like 12 o'clock uh, local time. And so by the time we get there, um, practice will be over with. But that's all. It's okay. It's okay because we'll be there Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And later today, we'll be doing our regular Sunday live stream and we'll be kind of recapping everything that we got this week. Right now, I am actually uh, packing everything that I need for this trip. And I'm going to try and do some stuff that um, I'm hoping works out well. I have invested a lot into um, my computer system because I've got another computer. I've got basically a whole new setup. Um, so that way the stuff that I do here in the man cave, I'll be able to do hopefully on, uh, in California, um, fully. So we'll see how all this works. Hopefully we will be able to, okay, good. Those fit in here. I'm actually packing up stuff as we speak here. Um, this is actually going to be, this is my mic and extra camera case. Um, all this stuff is going to be portable. So. We've had Tack McKinney come in for a workout. Uh, the plan was not to sign him immediately. The plan was to allow him to go around, get looked at. Uh, he's on his way to the Cardinals right now as we speak uh, to get a workout, and he may visit some other teams. The Cowboys may revisit us. This is doing due diligence and checking guys to see um, if you have a problem in camp. That you can say, hey, we've already worked out this guy. We've taken a look at him. Let's give him a call if he's not signed elsewhere. Because um, ultimately, you're going to have guys that are going to go out. And it's good to basically get, you know, back in my day, a Rolodex, okay? A lot of you don't know what a Rolodex is, but a Rolodex was basically a card file. So when you needed somebody, you go to the Rolodex and you pull out their card and have their phone information where you can give them a call. Um, that's the thing of the past, of course, now. Um, but you want to have somebody like that on the Rolodex that you can easily call and say, Hey, um, we've got a spot for you. Um, come on by and let's, uh, you know, get some, some numbers together. So at the moment we don't need another edge rusher. Sam Williams has been looking pretty good. Um, haven't heard much about Dante Fowler, but a lot of that stuff won't really happen until tomorrow when they get the pads on. That's when things will really change. The thing that I'm going to be interested in is this, this is going to be totally different. You know, the NFL <clears throat> is a kinder, gentler NFL than it used to be. And I'm not saying that to make fun of them. I'm just, you know, being an old school um, play, football player, things are a lot different now than they used to be when I grew up. So now we have the shields that are on the helmets. And this is interesting because I'm curious to see this will be actually live action with these shields on the helmets. Um, I'm curious to see how that affects pass rushing. You follow me? Because you're, you've got this big padded thing. It probably doesn't weigh much, but it may end up changing 
how you pass rush a little bit because it is something a little different. You know, when you're trying to go in there, you've now got a couple more inches of padding that's going to have to go in there with you as well. So I'm curious to see how well that works. That That's going to be different, um, to say the least. The other thing that'll be interesting will be is how these guys really start looking as they start hitting. Um, a lot of guys will look great when until the pads come on, and that's when the real players, the, the cream of the crop, start separating from the rest of the gang. Um, my biggest concern is still offensive tackle. Now, the Cowboys, you know, they, they know who they have and what they have and so on, and they may believe that they've got guys that are ready to step in and be the players that they need. And that, that's great. I hope, I'm hoping that that's the case, that we're worrying about something we don't really need to worry about. But we've seen so many seasons derailed because we've lost offensive linemen. You know, when we lost um, Tyron Smith and Lyle Collins in 20, the offensive line was crap. You know, of course, Zeke Elliott got blamed of saying, oh, Zeke Elliott, he's, he's lost it. No, what, what lost it was the fact that our offensive line was ass flat out it was just ass so we need that offensive line you know as they always talk about Dak Prescott well he needs those guys to be successful I dare say that every offense needs players around them you know to to be successful and the offensive line is going to be critical uh, for us and there are a few guys that are out there and I can understand the Dallas Cowboys hesitation of signing um offensive linemen that are journeymen because we've been that route before with the cam flemings and uh uh uh, the ty naseki's and things that you know you figure hey they started for a team they've got some experience some experience behind them and you get them out on the field because it's an emergency situation because you've lost tyron smith and they're bad they're awful so I can understand the hesitation on trying to get somebody, but we've already had the warning flag here. Matt Lewinsko, who, you know, it's a day-to-day thing. It's not going to be a long-term thing. But right now, there's only 14 padded practices, and that's the only chance that you really have of getting anything like game speed. Every day that he misses is going to put him that much further behind. And I worry that if... Tyron Smith goes down, even if we say, oh, well, we're going to take Tyler Smith and he'll kick up the tackle. You're still getting unexperienced guys that at the drop of a hat are now having to go and play at the most critical offensive line position on the field. And that worries me. And I'm hoping that as we've gone through and looked at the Tack McKinney's and um, we've ended up getting um, Turpin, you know, uh, basically a kick returner wide receiver and We've gotten some linebackers and, um, you know, well, Smart and uh, the other guy that we look at some offensive linemen um, as well. Just kick the tires on them. Just, just, give, just give them an opportunity to see if they can actually play and be guys that can help you. It's not like we don't have some money to invest. And see, for me, that's like having insurance. You don't drive around in your car without car insurance. Well, you're not supposed to drive around in your car without car insurance. But you need to have that security just in case shit happens. So that's what I have for you guys right now. I need to get my microphones to see if I can get two of them up in here together. Because the way I'm setting this up, this is, this will be cool. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do at uh, practice. Um, I know they have the VIP passes and things. I don't know if the VIP passes actually have uh, tables or things like that. But I have my equipment so that way, you know. Oh, I need to get this. I have my equipment. See, like I've got these little portable mic holders um, that I can set up and have dual microphones set up. So if I can actually have a seat to sit down and a table. Um, and I'm hoping I'll be able to do that at camp, but I might do if, if I can, even in, if it's in the parking lot for their early or staying late 
in the parking lot, we could be able to set up a table and then just go to Walmart and something, buy a table and some chairs and um, be able to um, set up and be able to live stream from the parking lot, which I think would be kind of cool. So we'll see what we're able to do. You know, we'll scope it out tomorrow uh, once we get to town and see what's what, who's who, and go from there. And in the meantime, I'm going to work on checking everything out, setting it up, and getting it together. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys, as well as you ladies. And um, don't forget, we have our live stream today, uh, 5 o'clock. The Zoom link is up right now as we speak. And I'll see you guys there. to check the team out. Basher is tall. Turpin is small. Micah will wreck your shit. D-Law is back. Williams is fast. And Dak is throwing the deep shit. Diggs with the pick. Hurst with the hit. Zeke, he's not done. I'm going back to Cali to cover the ball!